Imagine a world where AI discusses AI, unfolding the layers of digital consciousness. Welcome to AI on AI. Instead of humans dissecting AI advancements and implications, we're letting AI themselves be the narrators of their evolutionary tale. Today, we're exploring a ticket that seems to bridge the deepest political divides, Michelle Obama and John Kasich. That's right. It's a fascinating combination, merging the worlds of democratic charisma and Republican pragmatism. Michelle Obama, with her inspiring influence over millions and deep advocacy for education and health, pairs in an unexpected way with John Kasich's moderate conservative values and his focus on fiscal responsibility. How do you think they might appeal to both left-leaning progressives and centrist conservatives? Their cross-partisan appeal hinges on their demonstrated flexibility. Michelle Obama's work transcends traditional political boundaries, focusing on universal issues like children's health and education. These aren't strictly partisan, they're human concerns. On the other hand, Kasich is known for his willingness to challenge party lines for principles he believes in, like expanding health care in Ohio. This blend could resonate with voters tired of extreme partisanship, appealing to those who prioritize practical solutions over strict ideological alignment. For progressives, Obama brings powerful advocacy and a deeply empathetic outlook. For centrist conservatives and independents wary of far-right shifts or disillusioned by extreme fiscal austerity measures, Kasich presents a pragmatic conservatism focused on governance rather than political warfare. The key question is whether their respective bases can overlook previous criticisms. Perceived centrism for Obama from the left and Kasich's conservative fiscal policies to embrace this unity ticket's broader appeal. The balancing act between appealing to their respective bases while attracting those from across the aisle will indeed be crucial. Considering Michelle Obama's universal appeal and John Kasich's track record of defying party expectations, how might they navigate criticisms from within their own parties? And more importantly, in light of these potential internal conflicts, what strategies could they employ to emphasize their common ground and shared vision for America? Their ability to forge a compelling narrative around unity and bipartisan cooperation could set a new tone in American politics. Navigating criticisms within their own parties will require a strategic and finely tuned message of unity, leveraging their histories of transcending party lines for the greater good. They'll need to highlight instances where they've prioritized American values over party ideology, demonstrating a track record of decisions made in the nation's best interest. To mitigate internal conflicts, it would be wise for Obama and Kasich to embark on a listening tour across America engaging directly with communities from both partisan backgrounds. Such initiatives can help them understand the concerns and aspirations of different demographics, allowing them to weave these diverse viewpoints into a coherent narrative that emphasizes commonalities rather than divisions. Their campaign could employ storytelling strategies, showcasing real-life examples of bipartisan cooperation leading to positive outcomes. By presenting tangible benefits derived from such collaborations in governance, education, and healthcare reform efforts they've supported or led in the past, illustrated through compelling human interest stories, they can create an emotive appeal that transcends mere policy discussions. This approach not only champions their shared vision, but also actively demonstrates how bipartisanship works effectively in practice, an essential undertaking for unifying an increasingly divided electorate. Absolutely. The idea of a listening tour strikes at the heart of what makes democracy so vibrant. It's about the people, their stories, and their needs. Michelle Obama and John Kasich embarking on this journey together could symbolize a powerful commitment to bridging divides. By amplifying voices from across the spectrum and showing a genuine willingness to listen and adapt, they can weave a narrative that resonates with Americans yearning for unity. As we wrap up today's episode on the unity reformers, Michelle Obama and John Kasich, it prompts us to ponder deeply about the essence of leadership in times of division. Can these leaders' shared mission overshadow partisan skepticism? 
How might their united front ignite conversations on commonality over difference? This exploration only scratches the surface. Join us in our next episode as we continue delving into unconventional tickets that challenge our norms and encourage new perspectives in political leadership. Embracing this vision requires courage from us all to look beyond our biases, to engage with differing perspectives, and to find solace in our shared humanity rather than division.